1985. A 21-year-old man takes advantage of a young woman that cared about him deeply. The young woman becomes pregnant. Six months into her pregnancy, he wants her to get an abortion. She says no. He turns his back on that young woman. That young woman goes into premature labor at seven months. Has her first child almost dies on the table due to an enlarged appendix. 24 hours of surgery and a lot of intensive care later, she takes the young boy home. Without a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, without the support of her mother, she probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Her son probably would have been a statistic. Her son probably would have been a victim of the streets. Her son could have been another number but he wasn't. Her son became a fighter. Her son became a soldier. Her son became a hard-working son of a bitch. Despite being ridiculed in school, not knowing who his father is, the one time I meet this person, He gives me a box of dollar store matchbox cars. Within five minutes, they break. <sighs> Never sees him again. This young man is raised by his mother, his grandmother, both working two jobs to make sure that he has life that he has food on the table that he doesn't have to do anything stupid but despite all of that he makes dumb decisions he does stupid things things that he regrets to this day people don't understand why the big crush is the way he is why he is who he is. You people will never understand who I am. I don't want you to understand who I am. I want you to know that I do what I do for them. I do what I do for those women that sacrifice their lives for me. An undeserving child, an undeserving product. from a man that never gave a damn about anything but himself. A man who just happened to find communication with this young man recently and is trying to get on. Hey, having a partner, let it be known right now. My father's name was Rupert, folks. This was a man that helped raise me. This was a man that introduced me to professional wrestling. This was a man that, that developed a love in me for this sport, for this business that I carry around with me to this day. The last conversation I had with this man, he told me, son, you make sure in life you do what you mean to do, you say what you mean to say, and you don't regret any of it. I said, yeah, Pop, I will. I never knew that would be my last conversation with him. He died five days later in his sleep. 90 days later, I started training. A year later, I stand before you, a man with a mission, a man with a purpose, a man that can't be stopped, a man with an unrivaled passion for what he does that despite everything else, I will rise above it. I will do what I have to do to make sure my family no longer has to struggle, no longer has to suffer. 
it's all on me. So I'm putting the official wrestling world on notice. You have two options. Get with it or get crushed. <laughs>